welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how to resolve most Windows 10 update fails. If you are trying to install the latest Windows 10 update or just trying to do a update in general on Windows 10 then with a bit of luck this video will help resolve your problem. To start off with first we need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and open up our start menu. You now need to start typing in troubleshoot and you now need to click on troubleshoot settings and we now need to click on additional troubleshooters and we now need to click on Windows Update and run the troubleshooter. This will now detect any problems with our Windows Update. And if it does find a problem, then you will be able to begin to troubleshoot that issue. But as you can see, Troubleshooter couldn't identify a problem with my Windows Update, so it couldn't do any repairs. So we need to go ahead and press close, but if yours did find a problem, then follow the step-by-step -step wizard and hopefully that will resolve your problem. But if it doesn't, don't panic because we have plenty of other things we can look at. And the next thing to do is try disabling your antivirus and firewall, as these could be causing problems when trying to do any Windows updates. To disable most antivirus, normally it would be down in your system tray in the bottom right hand corner and you will be able to right click it and just disable the real time. And just if you have more options to just disable it completely, disable it completely. But just remember, when you do disable your antivirus, then you won't be protected on your PC. And also the same with the firewall. If you disable your firewall, you won't be protected. So just be aware of that. The next thing to do is turn off any VPN. If you have a VPN, then make sure that is turned off. As this could also cause problems when trying to do a Windows update. The next thing we want to do is go back down to the bottom left hand corner and open up our start menu and you now need to type in disk and we need to open up disk cleanup. You now need to select your C drive and press OK and we now need to click on clean up system files and press the C drive again and as you can see right there it's scanning the Windows update. We want to now select Windows update cleanup and we want to select Windows Upgrade Log Files. In fact, you don't actually need to select that, but I'm going to anywhere in this video. And you now need to just go through all the other options. The more options you select, the better. For example, Temporary Files, Recycle Bin, we just want to get rid of everything. But just remember, once you delete something in this, it is permanently deleted, and there is no way to recover those files again. Once you are happy with your selection, we can then go ahead and press OK and delete files. Disk cleanup will now go through and delete all the locations we just selected. And with a bit of luck, this will help our Windows update issues. Once disk cleanup has finished, it's always a good idea to restart your computer. And then once you have restarted your computer, try checking for the Windows updates again and try and install them. If you're still having issues, then the next thing we want to do is run a check disk and check to see if there are any corrupted system files. To do this, all we need to do is open up File Explorer and we now need to right click on our C drive and then go to Properties. You now need to go across to Tools. And we now need to click on check under error checking. And as you can see, it says this option will check the drive for file system errors. You now need to click on scan drive and it will begin to scan our C drive for any problems. And this will also check any system files that have corrupted. And as you can see, my system didn't find any errors. But if yours did, then follow the wizard to repair the system errors. 
we can now go ahead and press close and go OK. The next thing we want to do is open up command prompt. To do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and type in CMD and run as administrator for the command prompt. Before doing this part, it is always a good idea to create a system restore point and as always just make sure you have backed up any important files just in case anything was to go wrong. You now need to type in net stop and we need to type in w u a u s e r v and press enter. This will now stop the Windows Update service and as you can see the Windows Update service was stopped successfully. We now also need to type in net stop and then you need to type in bits B -I -T -S, and press enter. If you do have that message pop up then don't worry because it means the service isn't running anyway. But this also could be the cause of your problem. Once we've done all that we can now open up File Explorer. You now need to go to your C drive and open up the Windows folder. We now need to scroll down until we find the software distribution folder and you now have two options. You can go into this folder and delete all the contents or we can rename this folder. That is totally up to you. I'm actually going to go into the folder and just delete all the contents. You then need to press continue if you get that message pop up you can actually press do this for all current items and there we go we've deleted the folder that stores all the data for our windows updates and if any of those files had become corrupted then that would have also caused us an issue the next thing we need to do is open command prompt again to do this all you need to do is open the start menu type in cmd and run as administrator for command prompt you now need to type in the following I actually had it copied to my clipboard. If you don't want to type this out, then you can always copy the code from my forum. Once you have done this, you can then go ahead and press enter. And this will re-register all the DLLs back to our system. If one of those DLLs had become unregistered, then that will most definitely cause problems when trying to update Windows 10. Once this has finished, we can then go ahead and try and update Windows again. If you are still having issues, we can also skip this installation or you can install it. I'm actually going to skip it. Once this has finished, like I said, check for the update, see if it installs the updates. If it doesn't, then unfortunately that does bring us to the end of this tutorial. If the methods in this video did not work, then unfortunately you will need to do a fresh install of your Windows 10 as there is obviously something wrong with your system that just is not allowing you to update Windows 10. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.